Striking Scorpion 82 is sponsored by three great games. Warhammer Combat Cards, a card game featuring your favourite miniatures from the 40k universe. Knighthood, a role-playing turn-based game where players control a warrior, fight through levels to gain armour, weapons and loot. And finally, Honkai Star Rail version 1.2, a space fantasy RPG where players experience the galaxy's infinite wonders filled with adventure and discovery. All three games are free to download and play with links in the video description below. Begin your adventure now and enjoy the games. Right, short video here for the new Tyranids that have arrived. So exciting stuff. Uh, for sure, it's especially as Run Tyranid is on the channel and then there's a second army uh, painted up in Leviathan colour scheme which you'll see here on some of the box artwork uh, here for the new models. So my models are coming up like this. This is uh, the Screamer Killer from the Leviathan box set. If you like the colour scheme, this is painted quick, a couple of hours work to get this done. This is using, I'd say, 90% contrast uh, paints and methods. There's a full tutorial for this on the channel along with a basing tutorial as well as a couple other tutorials uh, for the Leviathan Tyranids as well. So, so I have the red Tyranids, I'm not going to neglect those, as I'll, I'll talk about which colour schemes I'm going to paint up here. But also, always love the Leviathan colour schemes, there's a second high fleet on the channel uh, being painted up with the new models mostly. Uh, and then that's going to be in the Leviathan colour scheme. So pushing towards 2000 points, this new stuff that Games Workshop have sent through, plus some other stuff that I've ordered will finish off the collection. Uh, here at 2k and beyond so you can look forward to seeing that uh, reach that level check out those tutorials on the channel uh, for the leviathan color scheme for the tyranids so for discount 40k uh, do check out the outpost link for them in the video description below uh, using that link doesn't cost you anything to do it when you do uh, we get a little bit of kickback from that in the form of vouchers which we can then use to get more models for the channel so it does help support us even when you use the discount uh, 40k link for the outpost free shipping is available for them if your order is large enough including a lot of countries across the european union so if your order is big enough uh, then customs and shipping will be paid and plus the the, uh, the fantastic discount that you can get uh, for warhammer 40,000, age of sigma and other gaming systems and paints and sprays and accessories and so on so link for them in the video description below. So I'm not going to unbox these. I'll take a look at each kit that's come through. I'll give you my take on each of these ones, what I think of them. Do leave a comment below what you think of each of these new models. This is really exciting time. See the Games Workshop have brought out all this new stuff, re-sculpts, brand new units, a massive revamp for the tunes. Perhaps they've been struggling a bit, uh, but maybe with the new codex for them, uh, they'll start to do better. So in no particular order, it's this thing, the Neurolictor. I hope to do a codex review and we'll check out the new rules for each of these models as well. So most of my comments are positive, but this thing, I don't know. It's It looks like a Tyranid creature of some kind that's been like run over or, <laughs> run over or squashed a little bit. Uh, it's just sort of, it looks like it's just been run over, I think, but like splatted. But um, that's just my opinion on that one. So at the back, it gives you the one for one scale. So that is the actual scale of the thing. So I might give this one a miss, really. I'm not too keen on this particular one. You might completely disagree. But for each of them, let us know what you think. Perhaps leave your, your favorite models coming up. Uh, but it is great news to have brand new stuff coming through for the Tyranids. So it's an exciting time for them. For those, I will say, for those painting tutorials, it's a quick method, so if you're looking for an army to get really good effects and quickly and with not too much painting skill, uh, then follow that contrast method because it's, it's quite revolutionary and it's, it's been quick enough, it's been quick putting this collection together. So Neurolictor, for me, I'll probably leave him out of the list, uh, but great to see a new unit being added. But uh, I just gave my honest opinion, not so keen on that one. Next, uh, Games Workshop have re-sculpted the Hormagons. They were in need of a re-sculpt for sure. These are way better than the previous sculpts. Uh, you get you get Rippers in there as well. Interesting. You get them with the Hormagons also. And 
like so. They look excellent. They've got that bounding kind of look. You've got much more variety with the poses as well. This one's arching. It's interesting. This one's arching right back. So when they're all clustered together, and that's one for one scale. When they're all clustered together, they look fantastic moving across the board. So I really do like the look of these. So they're very, very nice indeed. For my particular list, uh, for my Leviathan uh, scheme, I don't think I'll be running these ones, but that could all change. Um, so, but that's not to say the sculpts are absolutely fantastic. You know, for, for players to replace their models, the sculpts need to be really, really good. Uh, but these are excellent, so I'm sure a lot of Tyranny players will get a hold of the newer models. Next up, now we're into the good stuff. It, just for my collection, this Lictor sculpt is the thing of dreams. I always wanted Games Workshop to do a, a plastic Lictor. And what an amazing job that they've done. I think this sculpt is absolutely fantastic. I rate this as one of my, my favourite uh, releases from Games Workshop for, for Tyranids. It's a good size. What, that's one for one scale. So here's a Space Marine, just to give you an idea on the scale here. So big. Uh, I believe it has precision attack. So you could charge it into a unit, it can root out characters. It's a very exciting dynamic with this thing. An infiltrator. There's uh, another variant here. Interesting the way their claws are all curled up. So you've got variety, because players may take a number of these. And look at the tendrils here on the face. So this, for me, Pose, sculpt, scale is 10 out of 10. I think this is absolutely fantastic. This is the, the sculpt I always hoped the Games Workshop would do. So we've now got lictors in plastic. They look absolutely fantastic. So I'm planning to paint it up pretty much how you see it here on the box art using the, the contrast painting methods. Hope to run these. The idea of my Leviathan Tyranid list, I want the two Tyranid uh, high fleets to operate and function differently. So two different style armies. Uh, but for my Leviathan scheme, I want sort of infiltrating uh, the sneaky kind of units. So the Lictor's going to be a perfect fit. But that's, I think, one of those, my top one, I think. Top one, two or three choice here. So super excited about that. Very much look forward to, to painting that model up. Looks incredible. Really nice. Size of it. Okay. Moving along, we then have Death Leaper. So they've re-sculpted. One of the characters, uh, which was in the previous codex, has been out there for a while, but now I've got a plastic model uh, for it. Kind of a strange look, like the cape at the back is mixed opinions about that, but unique to this thing. Again, goes workshop with these characters making the effort with basing, which really poses the models well. It's a massive upgrade for the, the newer sculpts coming out, so I'm a massive fan of what they've done there. That's one for one scale. We'll do our scale check again. So one for one, there he is. Huge, absolutely huge. A real showpiece and centerpiece for your army. So I'm guessing like uh, him with like two lictors, lictor either side, look brilliant. Just have them infiltrating across the board. Absolutely superb. So I like the cape, I think it suits it all right. It looks this well posed, the basin looks fantastic. This is another 10 out of 10. That model here. It's a great, great to see one of these characters not being neglected but getting a brilliant re sculpt that here from Games Workshop. So, Death Leaper, hope to run him for my Leviathan army. Next up, do let us know what you think of each of these sculpts in the comment section. Uh, the Biovore next. So, I'll just give my honest opinion about these uh, here. So, in this kit, you get two you get the Biovore and the Pyrovore, so it's like the flamer option, and the Biovore, which is it launches. Either you can do shooting attacks like artillery, like mortars really for the Tyranids, uh, or you can have the option of firing these things, the spore mines, and they land on the board and they can float around and detonate and so on. Um, dare I say it, I liked the previous sculpt, the Pyrovore sculpt, more. It had more of a like a 45 degree angle artillery mortar type feel to it. This is more of a scuttling bug with a big cannon on top. Um, so I did prefer the previous sculpt. I was about to order, because I, I wasn't sure, I didn't know all this stuff was coming. I was about to order the previous sculpt pyrovores and then just to run them as biovores because I didn't like the, 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 the official sculpt 
four biovores. But now these have come along, so I guess it makes sense that I'll go for these. I just want to run a squad of three. I don't think squad of one's much good. So you need three of them. So three of those. But I don't know. I'm not so sure. See, maybe it's like the, the gun's level, which I think 45 degrees would have been good. And also the way the feet are placed. In the previous skull, they're sort of anchored into the ground like it's really firing artillery up like artillery would be. You know, you have even machines that are artillery, they're anchored into the ground and angled up at 45 degrees. This thing is sort of tiptoeing around as opposed to just being anchored down to fire. So I'm not so keen on that one. But I'm sure it's decent enough. And that's the one-to-one -one scale of it, just that. And again, I'll give you an idea of the, the scale of this thing. So there it is. So I'm not sure what to do. I'll see what points are available from my overall list. I had written biovores in, but I might give way to more lictors and so on. And I might go that direction with them. We'll have to see. But they're a useful unit, I think, for Tyranids to have on the battlefield. So I have to think about this one uh, for the biovore. Next up is uh, Gene Steelers have been re-sculpted. And you look at the previous models, you think, well, they're okay, they're not too bad. But these, again, Games Workshop have done a brilliant sculpt on these. So they're all posed up differently. Some are leaping off pieces of terrain. Uh, really good poses on these, like this one here, leaping across all the claws. Others more standing, more on watch. This one here, leaping across, looks fantastic. Moving forwards. There's an alternate colour scheme. Very nice, actually. So, I guess I'd be painting these up for the reds, the red Tyranids. It run Gene Sillers a fair bit with them. So these these re-sculpts really look fantastic. Okay, so that's those. And again, a superb re-sculpt here from Games Workshop. So again, I'm sure a lot of Tyranny players will, will go for the, the replacement models because Games Workshop already have done a fantastic job. It's a next level. If you And I, I've been looking at the, the current plastic Tyranids, such as units like the Trigon, the Morlock and so on. And then if you line them up and compare them to the Resculpts, they, these are superior. Just even the detail in the carapace, just the extra little details, uh, the posing, the battle damage is just on another level. So... There is, a, there is a stark difference between them. So that's those. And the final one, the cellophane is off on this thing. And I'll show you the model in just a moment. I've built it already. <laughs> so the, you've got two options with this. It's the non-emissary, but there's also uh, the non-assimilator. So there's two lots of And again, we'll cover this in the codex, uh, what you get with these uh, two options. And I think I'm going to paint this one up, not for Leviathan, but for the Reds, the Red Tyranids, just to give them another monster uh, to add to that collection. I don't want to neglect the Reds, I want to have them to their own, their own style. Uh, I've got a pretty good idea of a kind of list I'm going to go for with those. Uh, but just to throw in this uh, brand new lease here from Games Workshop. So there it is, one for one scale. We'll, do our, we'll bring in our, our Space Marine here, just to give you an idea on the, the size of this thing. So it is big enough for sure. Brilliant job. And there's the normal emissary. This is a strange enough thing. And I expected that it would have been perhaps bigger, but it's big enough for sure. So the big, I, I still think that both options are fantastic. The big question is which sculpt would you go for and why? Uh, I've made a decision as to which one I'm gonna go for. Perhaps might come as a surprise, uh, but I've actually, I've actually gone for the assimilator now, perhaps this one comes with no one save, which is a bit of a problem if you check out the rules. Uh, this one does have an one save, so that could be a deciding factor. But still, I, I, I like the assimilator just a little bit more, and it hits a bit harder as well. So that's the, the option I've gone for with that. Uh, here's the model, so I built it. And there it is. I mean, just insane. And, it, and once again, Games Workshop have made a real effort with the base. And it just adds such a dynamic to the model. It's not just standing on the ground, but it's arched up uh, on this piece of terrain, which Games Workshop put a tremendous amount of effort into, which is superb. Love the pose on this thing. What a model. And again, I'll just bring the Space Marine in just to give you an idea on scale. So it's big enough, can't really complain. 
So very excited to see this thing on the battlefield. I'm gonna run it against James's guard and his ultramarines. See how much this thing can eat. So that's the models. It's just to go go for each of the sculpts, give you my own take on on these. I, I do rate this one. I think it's fantastic. So mostly I'm a big fan of all of these here. There's a couple I'll pass on uh, and not go for. And then there's a couple of bits that I've ordered in to finish off the Tyranids. So these aren't new uh, sculpts. I've uh, three more warriors, which will make take me to a unit of six for High Fleet Leviathan. So those have come in. Then these, which aren't in their boxes anymore, a little bit tricky to get a hold of. It's the Tyranna site. So it's like the drop pod. Uh, option here for the Tyranids. Uh, so I've got two of those, and this is to, to make up this uh, list here for High Fleet Leviathan. I've got a, a, a battle tactic I want to use uh, for them. So, again, just to say a big thank you to Games Workshop who sent me these through the post, and I'll be uh, painting most of these units up, either for the Reds uh, or for High Fleet Leviathan. Uh, you should start to see those filtering through. Uh, quick enough, all being well, because it's, it's a fast enough colour scheme for both methods. Uh, so I'm planning, if it's not live already, to do a, a painting tutorial for this in the red colour scheme. It'd be quite a challenge, but that should be helpful enough. So if you like the red colour scheme on the channel, do check out that painting tutorial. And then I've done three painting tutorials for the High Fleet Leviathan models. So this Screamer Killer, uh, the Winged Tyranny Prime, and then one of the smaller Gaunts. Uh, termagants as well so you can check those out and it just shows you step by step for this video if you check out this one it includes all the basing work if you like that desert kind of basing uh, color scheme then that's covered in that video as well but it's all to, to help you uh, paint your models up and this is contrast method be a, a slightly different method going on with the red color scheme but you can pick which one you want and follow along step by step to paint your models up to the same kind of standard that you see here on the screen so for discount 40k it's the outpost link for them in the video description below. And when you use that link, it does help support us here on the channel. So you're helping out the channel with new models uh, to get them onto the battlefield as you expand your own armies and collections. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.